In this video, we're going to explore different convert to image settings. Convert to image, in essence, transforms vectors and other selected items into an RGB image that behaves like any other image in Composer. So here's just a quick example of some text converted to image. Now we'll go back into the dialog box and look at some of the settings. Resolution is basically the size of the image file that's in Composer. So a higher resolution means a larger file size. High resolution means fewer jaggies as well. Anti-aliasing is a tool that blurs the edges of images so they don't look as jaggy. Gaussian blur is the blur effect used to create soft shadows. It blurs from the inside to the out, darker to lighter. A higher number for Gaussian blur equals more blur. And a higher number for Gaussian blur does also create more processing time to create the blur. Margin adds white space around the image. So as you notice, when you do a Gaussian blur, the image gets bigger. So you can use margin to make it so the, the, image is, the Gaussian blur is not cut off, such as what you see here. Just resetting myself here for a moment. So lower resolution affects Gaussian blur. Lower resolution means you'll get more Gaussian blur, even if you don't change the blur value. The opposite of that is that higher resolution gives you less Gaussian blur. So if, as you scale images, you're going to need to increase your blur as you scale images up, or decrease your blur as you scale images down. Higher blur value equals more blur and more processing time. So smaller images for a given blur value means more blur. Larger images for a given blur value means less blur. This is also uh, af affected by scaling of graphics in Composer. If you scale your original vectors and you have convert to images turned on, it means that your converted image is going to be larger, which means that you're going to have less blur. The other thing to be careful of is that as you scale images up, if you make vectors that are 5 feet by 10 feet, your converted image is going to get very large. There is a maximum size of 10,000 pixels for converted images just as sort of a safety net, but that can still take quite a bit of time for processing. Hide Originals is a nice tool that allows you to use vectors, use, use vectors that were used to create the converted image as a clipping path. You can also select your original vectors and change the tint of those vectors or change the color of those vectors to change your converted results. So here I reduced the percentage tint and you see the converted image is also lighter. To save time and to save uh, output costs you can convert converted images from CMYK output to spot color output. So instead of using CMYK to generate this gray e example, I used just a spot color black.